Whatever you say, cat lady. Death Star shall know your bones. In the new video game, Injustice 2, one of the key characters is Atrocitus, who is the head of the Red Lantern Corps. He also has a pet cat named Daxstar. Some might think that this little guy is an alien, since the Red Lanterns are from space, but Daxstar is actually an Earth cat, and his story starts in an animal shelter in Brooklyn. Daxstar was given up by his original owner, but was adopted by a woman who loved his blue fur. She took him in and loved him. She was quite lonely, and having the cat around made her life better, and she knew that if Daxstar could talk, he would say the same thing. And she was right, Daxstar loved her. Unfortunately, one night a burglar broke into the apartment they lived in. Daxstar scratched him, but was too small to stop him, and the burglar killed his owner. When the police arrived, they closed the crime scene and thought that Daxstar would disturb the crime scene, and kicked him to the curb. It seems likely that they didn't realise Daxstar lived there, though in truth they would have only taken him to the animal shelter again. But instead, Daxstar now lived on the street, and one night, two idiots captured him and decided to put him in a sack bag and throw him off a bridge to watch him drown. As he was falling to the river, a red lantern ring flew by and sensed the rage in his heart and flew onto his tail and made him a red lantern. Now, normally when a red lantern is made, the first thing they do is kill the ones who are or who have persecuted them in the past, as a ring normally senses their rage during or after a great tragedy has been committed against them. Pathetic! Let me demonstrate the true power of rage! Unleashed! <laughs> But in Daxstar's case, he didn't attack the ones who threw him off the bridge, but instead flew back to his owner and vowed to get vengeance on the one who had killed her. Which is actually a rather touching moment in the story. The fact that Daxstar's intelligence seems to be raised by the Red Lantern Ring is quite odd, as the Red Lantern Rings normally reduce its wearers into a mindless beast of rage that is not capable of higher brain function, at least until they have been placed in the River of Blood on the Red Lantern Core homeworld. But in Daxstar's case, his intelligence was raised, not lowered. Perhaps this has something to do with him being a lower life form to begin with, but in any case, it's never really explained. But one thing that is true of Daxstar is that he is a very loyal creature, as shown by his dedication to bring his owner's killer to justice, or at least get revenge on them. This loyalty seems to switch over to Atrocitus, as Daxstar now views him as his new master. And this seems to be why he becomes Atrocitus' cat. He is loyal to Atrocitus, and no one else. He even saved Atrocitus' life once when the other Red Lanterns attacked him and tried to kill him. Daxstar was originally created as a joke by the artist Shane Davis, as it was the most bizarrest thing the artist could think of drawing as a blood-vomiting Red Lantern, and he is even named after the Shane Davis' pet cat, Dexter. However, Jeff Johns liked the character and decided to flesh him out a bit more and give him a larger role in the Red Lantern Corps, and thanks to positive responses from the fans, he became a key character in the Red Lantern Corps. Daxstar, of course, has all the powers of a Red Lantern, meaning he can fly, including fly in space, create wormholes, vomit burning blood, blast energy projections, and unlike a lot of Red Lanterns, he can also create energy constructs. He can also form energy shields, use electromagnetic scanning to see through walls, and the ring also drains the power of the Green Lantern rings in close proximity, and he can use his ring to communicate with others, of course. He's actually not a playable character in the Injustice 2 game at the moment, he just assists Atrocitus. Though, if the fans demand it enough, the Neverrealm may change that in the future, but it does seem unlikely at the moment. And that is Daxstar's origin and how he came to become Atrocitus' pet cat. Which I think is rather cute. After all, James Bond has taught us all that you're not a true supervillain until you're menacingly stroking a cat in your lap. And I love how he works with Atrocitus in the new Injustice 2 video game, assisting him in battle as it mirrors the comics quite well with their relationship. But what do you think of the character? And do you agree with Neverrealm's choice to make him an assistant character to Atrocitus? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all! That is your fate!